As we close out the year, there is a sobering report that has found that 2019 brought a new record high when it comes to mass killings in the United States, and most of them were shootings. 11 Alive's Jennifer Bellamy is breaking down the numbers for us and what else we have learned about these cases. Jennifer? Guys, the first mass killing of the year happened just 19 days into 2019, shortly followed by one here in Metro Atlanta. The report found more of these killings happened this year than any other year dating back to the 1970s. 41 mass killings this year, 211 people dead. Data from the Associated Press, USA Today, and Northwestern University shows an increase in the number of mass killings since 2006, when they began tracking the numbers. But the group says research dating back to the 1970s shows no other years with this high a number. The next closest year for mass killings was in 2006, with 38 lives lost. A mass killing is defined as when at least four people are killed, and that number can include the person responsible. Of this year's 41 mass killings, 33 were shootings, with most cases occurring between people who knew each other with connections like family violence, drugs, gangs, or disputes involving people taking their anger out on coworkers. Nine of the mass shootings happened in a public place, with others in homes, workplaces, or bars. This year's numbers included the shootings at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas, and a business district in Dayton, Ohio. In Metro Atlanta, at least two mass killings occurred this year. One, a January shooting in Polk County that left four people dead and one injured across two crime scenes, and an apparent triple murder-suicide near Stone Mountain in August. According to the report, in most of the 2019 cases, the motivation for the killings remains unknown. And while 41 is a new high, 2017 holds the record for the most people killed, with 224. That's the year we saw the deadliest mass shooting in modern history at a concert in Las Vegas. And despite the high number, a Northwestern University professor says mass killings are still rare occurrences, but even while the risk is low, the fear remains high. All right, Jennifer, thank you.